John, how do we, how do we know this isn't going to end up like all of Keith Olbermann's other jobs? <laughs> Mm, I'm sure he's hoping you'll tune in and that'll help the early ratings for it. Uh, you know, I had a quick exchange with the president of ESPN, John Skipper, last week, and I said, with the launch of Fox, Fox Sports 1, uh, do you have any surprises coming? And he said, hey, we've got some great programming for August and September. And what timing? The August 17th uh, unveiling of Fox Sports 1, and basically a week later, Keith Overman popping up on one of the ESPN channels. And this isn't just a story about ratings to drive advertising dollars. ESPN has uh, a mountain of fees that it generates from the cable companies by saying, hey, your subscribers want ESPN, so we want to get a lot of money from you. So this plays into all of that for sure. And meantime, John, ESPN is hosting the ESPYs in L.A. tonight, which is sort of like the sports yeah. Oscars, right? Yeah, and you know, you think about the Disney Empire, ABC has the Oscars and ESPN has the ESPYs, which were something created uh, to help build the brand, not just of ESPN, but to give a platform for a lot of the athletes. One of the things to consider in this battle between ESPN and Fox is that ESPN is the place where a lot of ex-athletes go uh, in their second career. So I think there's going to be a lot of positioning in the next few months of, you know, where is the best place to be on and off the court and certainly the ESPYs is a great chance for ESPN to show that off. Emily?